Okay, this uh, video tutorial is on SEF URLs. SEF means search engine friendly URLs. And what is the big deal about SEF URLs? And, uh, and why do we care if they're friendly to the search engines? Uh, the difference between an unfriendly and a friendly URL is that um, if there is a lot of parameters in the URL, such as these here with question mark option equals con content. Um, this tells an indexer, the web indexer such as Google or Yahoo, that this is a dynamic page. It doesn't like to index dynamic pages, so it often skips them. If you have search engine friendly URLs, then you get a URL that has keywords in it. So it's more likely to search it just because of the keywords in the URL. Also, you have the .html extension, which also makes the web uh, indexer think that this page is static. So, uh, SEF URLs are better for search engines, and they're going to put you up there higher on the uh, search list, then they're also better for you. And they're pretty simple to set up in Joomla 1.5. It does work pretty good. Uh, there are some technical issues along the way. Then I'm going to go over each and every one of them. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do um, to change uh, Joomla to use SEF URLs is go into sorry about that, go into site and global configuration. And over here on the right, you're going to see SEO settings. There's search engine friendly URLs, use Apache mod rewrite, and add suffix to URLs. All three of these things are what are going to get you the best SEF settings for Joomla. Getting your URL to look to look like from this to this is a three-step process. And each process uh, should work along the way before you move on to the next process. The first step is to choose yes, search engine friendly URLs, and then apply. Okay, if you are having a problem viewing your pages after this step, you need to go into the configuration PHP file and change the live site variable to uh, forward slash or forward slash subdomain. And if you're having a problem you aren't sure what to do, then just put forward slash. That means that it needs to go back to the root directory when um, when the URL thing does its thing. It doesn't put that slash there, so the programmers put that variable in there to, to kind of force it, but um, that was a fix. But now you also need to remember that every time um, you hit apply on the global configuration, it changes that back to an empty string. So, it, so every time you hit apply, you need to um, go out into control panel, file manager, open up the configuration.php file, change that, and hit save. Okay, if everything went well, then this first step will make your links change from this type with the parameters, kind of messy, right? Who knows what that is, or where you're going when you hit that, to this. Um, it has uh, keywords for the article that you were going to view instead of um, all this parameter stuff. But if you notice, it still has the index.php in there. Okay, in order to get the PHP, uh, index.php out of your URL, change the mod rewrite setting. So, now you're going to want to change this one to yes. Okay, do not hit apply yet. Uh, one more important item, actually a very important item, almost a skip step. Um, before you save on the mod rewrite option, you need to go out to your the folder where Joomla is installed and find the file htaccess.txt and then you need to rename it to just .htaccess. Okay, you can do that in your um, control panel or your uh, FTP browser will probably work for that. 
um, and then you can hit uh, apply on that other option. If it still doesn't work for you, then you got to go uh, back through the uh, C panel, uh, your file manager, or your FTP browser, and um, you have to get that file and, and modify it. So um, there's a spot in the HT access file where you have to comment out these following lines. Um, rewrite condition, rewrite condition, rewrite condition, rewrite condition. I have them all commented out um, because I had to do that for my system. Um, just to comment it out, you just got to put the uh, pound sign in front of the line and then that makes uh, the Apache uh, uh, web server ignore those lines. Okay, if everything went well, then your, your URL should look similar to this. Um, it has the keyword URL, but it doesn't have the index.php. The next step is to add the uh, .html. Now remember, through all these steps, every time you hit apply to save that uh, global configuration, you need to go back out, get the configuration.php file, edit it, change that live site variable, and then save it again. Because if it's not working for you, that may be the problem. Just because you changed it once, it only fixed it for that for that option. And then when you went back to hit mod rewrite to apply uh, that change, it changed it on you again. So you got to go back and save it again. That was kind of a little problem I had to figure out along the way that every time I hit apply, it changed that live site setting on me. So remember to do that. Always check that. Okay. The next setting is to uh, choose add suffix to URLs, hit apply, and then go out and, um, like I said, uh, modify your config configuration.php, change that live site back to a forward slash, save, and um, your URLs should now look like this. HTTP www.example.com slash Joomla overview dot html notice the keyword um, file name and then the dot html extension and now your dynamic uh, website looks completely like a static website like they're just single individual pages on a website and the web uh, server doesn't know any of the difference when it sees the name or the link in any other page or the web indexer doesn't know the difference Okay, here's an example of my website. When you are on the home page, of course, you only have your domain name. And now if I go into any other page, you can see that the link became video documentation.html. And these markups here are kept in the title aliases. So in the title alias, if you're creating articles and you leave those title aliases blank, um, Joomla will go in and take the, the title name and concatenate it all together with these um, little hyphens. And then those hyphens are used for your URLs. Um, so you can modify them if you want, or you can just let Joomla build them. But um, if there is one missing, um, the SEF system in uh, Joomla will, uh, will build it from the title. Alright, so now let's go to some examples here. Alright, it says 11 examples. Um, it gets that number from the ID, I think, in the record. And here's another page of examples of embedded audio and video. But if you notice in the URL, it has all that information in the name there. the .html extension so it thinks that this page is a static HTML page but it's really not it's a dynamic Joomla page now just go to google.com submit your site and let the indexers go at it this concludes this video tutorial of how to implement S search engine friendly URLs into Joomla 1.5 website